Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 119, verse 120. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I'm afraid of thy judgments. This is David talking. This isn't some moral reprobate. This is a guy who loved God with all of his heart, soul, mind, and strength, and served him and confessed when he failed. He had a heart for God. Even God said, David is a man after my own heart. And yet he said, my flesh trembles for fear of thee. If you don't have a fear of God as a Christian, you have been taught something that you should not have been taught. You have been taught some watered-down, silly, putty, lukewarm, lovey-dovey, sentimental God doctrine where you don't have to worry about anything if you're a Christian. And I know this. If you have repented and received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and you're trusting in his finished work on the cross and you are saved, you are saved. You won't go to hell. But if you, if you think that you can sin and get away with it, no, you, you haven't been reading the Bible, not taking it at face value. You've been listening to some theology that is not scriptural. Who the Lord loves, he chastens, and it hurts. And oh yeah, by the way, if you continue to live in sin, and you disregard God, and you don't confess, and you don't repent after you sin, you will eventually lose your faith. It won't happen overnight, but you will lose your faith slowly but surely, and you will end up in hell. He was afraid. He was afraid of God and his judgments. And he was a God-loving, Bible-loving believer. This is no moral reprobate talking here. This is no atheist talking here. Those of us who know Christ are loved by our Heavenly Father, which is a good reason to fear Him. He loves us enough to come down hard on us when we sin. And if judgment begins in the family of God, what horrors must await those who reject the Savior? I don't even want to think about that. I know one thing. There aren't many people who fear God enough like this Man, David feared him. 21. I have executed justice and righteousness. Leave me not to mine oppressors. He wasn't shy about asking God for help, and I'll tell you why. It's because he was living right. Nothing en enlivens our prayers like holiness. When you're tight with God through Jesus Christ, your prayers will be powerful and your prayers will be heard because you want what God wants and you'll ask for what he likes to give. And if by some chance he doesn't give that, you'll have a good reason why and you'll be okay with that too. Well, study the whole Bible with me verse by verse at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen. And to be a part of this ministry that has been faithfully teaching the Word of God now, the whole counsel of God, without watering it down for over 35 years, you can be by praying for me and God's Word. And also, when you take a break from studying at thebibleversebyverse.com, click the Donate button at the top of the front page and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.